Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. After being a resident guest for the last few months, I'm finally a Toastmaster member, so I'm very thrilled to be here. Today I'd like to give you a little snapshot of who IHAN is and how IHAN became IHAN. I grew up in Normandy in the northern part of France. I am a typical son of a Turkish immigrant family. I grew up in a place called Nabil, which was slightly rough, and uh, there was a reason why I'm saying this. But I always believed that I was in search of success. And as Churchill said, success is going from failure to failure without losing enthusiasm. I also believe that you are the result of your choices and the people with whom you spend the most of the time will define the person you become. So I grew up in this small place called Neville. As a child, we were playing football, we were playing in the parks. And as we grew up with my friends, some of them became drug dealers, some of them started to steal some cars and do all sorts of delinquencies. But there was a small minority like myself who decided to come outside this. We, we wanted to study, we wanted to make a career, we, we wanted to do some good for us. So there were people that kind of helped me to shape my life. And I remember when I was 16, there was this friend of mine called Ahmed. Ahmed came to me and said, I have, I have a proposition for you. Uh, let's uh, sell some hashish. <laughs> I said, it's very easy. You know, you just get 100 grams, you divide it into 10 pieces of 10 grams. We'll make 2,000 francs each. At the time, I was having 100 francs as a pocket money for myself. So 2,000 francs was a lot of money. But then, thanks God, I didn't accept this. And then there was this other friend of mine called Haidar. Haidar was my best friend. He was my classmate from secondary school until the beginning of high school. And he was also my biggest competitor. So then came in my life my first failures. When I started in the first year of high school, I failed the first year. And then my parents told me, Haider can do it, you can't do it. There was another Haider kid. <laughs> so I didn't give up. I had a dream. I, I'm the youngest kid in the family with six kids. No one went to university. So I wanted to get the baccalaureate and then go and study at university. So I kept working. I didn't lose my faith. Then I went on the final year of the high school. I was working, walking on the corridor and I saw this poster. It said, London South Bank University. There was a seminar, so I went to that seminar. This lady talked about being able to study three years in London, one year abroad, I'd be able to learn English and Spanish, and I will also uh, have a degree at the end. I said, that's it. I've got it. Not only I'm going to be able to study at university in England, but I will also do something better than Haida. <laughs> <laughs> so, my second biggest failure happened. I failed in my baccalaureate. I was completely shattered. I went home, I told my parents, they said, oh, Haida got the baccalaureate, now he's in high school. Haider can do it, why can't you do it? Just wanted to dig a hole and get inside. <laughs> but I didn't give up. A year later, in July 97, I got my baccalaureate with merit. I went to my parents. I said, now I'm going to England. My mom said, where are you going to? I said, England. I said, you promised me, if I get the baccalaureate, I'll send you to England. So, five years later, after having spent a year to learn English in in Kent, in South East England, spending four years, three years in London, one year in South America. I could speak six languages, I got my degree. Then I got also elected president of the student union. I had decided to do also a part-time MBA. I received a phone call. It was my old friend Haidar. <laughs> Haidar was coming to London and he was coming for a business trip. So I went to pick him up, we went for dinner. Then I took him to the university, I showed him my office, I was the president of the student union, I was representing 17,000 students. Then that evening I was invited to speak in the London Turkish radio, as I was invited to uh, recommend to the Turkish youth about their career. So I asked Haidar, do you want to come with me? He said, yeah, sure. So I went with Haidar there, and the parents started to call, and the students started to call, and I said to the parents, I said, the best thing you can do for your kids is to make sure that they get the right role model, they get the right people around themselves. 
and I've been very blessed to have Haidar, my friend, to be my role model. <laughs> Haidar was gobsmacked. So anyway, choose your friend very well, keep your dreams alive, and I think you have to fail your way to success.